news, the dairy news has dropped like a snowflake. In this video, we're going to talk about what's coming in the Farm Pass the Valley, those three events that everybody gets excited about, and how you can get a free deco at the end. I'm also going to take a look at the collection, the sticker book, and give my prediction on what's going to be free and what's going to have to be paid for. So for the Farm Pass, you get your usual, you know, your boosters, your XP, uh, machine extras, extra help on boats and townies, and all the usuals, right? But it looks like we may be getting a free deco and a couple of paid decos and the hat. So let's take a look here. It looks like the woodcutter and the snow tubing is going to be on the paid road. And they are both animated and fabulous. I'm going to show you. I'm going to take a look. So let's also take a look at the hats. Yes, those are the hats that we're going to get our Thanksgiving hats for our lovely animals. So let's take a look at what the free one is going to be. This is the fabulous Fox statue. I got him last year. I think I might have paid for him, but he's gonna be on the free road of the farm pass this year. And look at that adorable squirrel bearing his nuts for the winter. He's so cute. So as per the usual rotation, this month should be a animal sanctuary valley because it was a chicken valley last time. But let's take a look at a little something that was said by Hey Day before. Let's check out what they said on the last one. The Chicken Valley is back this month with some small improvements and the Clockworks Deco as a reward. Once we're sure you're loving it, we'll start working on updates for the Sanctuary Valley as well. Did y'all hear that? Updates on the Sanctuary Valley? Everybody's been talking about it. So if you notice anything new on Monday when it starts, let us know. Come back and comment on the video or comment on social media because I can't wait to find out what it is. Let's take a close look at the deco for the valley. Oh, we got a little baby leopard on a flying carpet. Y'all remember when we got the valley prize a while back? There was like a market with carpets as well. Hmm. Are you ready to take a magic carpet ride with this little guy? I know I am. Event number one, a winter task event is coming, otherwise known as the road event. And in these events, what you need to do is you got to make these products per task and collect them before the time runs out. So here's a little tip. Make the products in your machine first before you click on each task to do it. That way you don't have to worry about running out of time. For this wood event, you'll be collecting that flower currency. And let's see what we're going to get. We're going to be getting the sleeping fox. I happen to already have him. And we're going to be getting some puzzle pieces, some boosters, and this cute mushroom picking pig. Event number two, we're getting a global truck event. It's been a little while since we had one of those. And in this event, it's kind of like when you're doing boats and such, you're trying to get some personal rewards that you can see right up here at the top. And as well, you're working together across the globe with a whole team of other people. And hopefully we will get the grand prize, which is a deco this time. It says here from the Heyday video, 150 million I don't know if it will be exactly the same or if it will change, but we are supposed to get this cute little carved ship deco. It is a little bit on the small side, but it is definitely adorable. So hopefully we can all work together and use our faster trucks to get this event done. Hopefully um, everyone will have the, the faster trucks. I don't know yet. So I think... I wonder if this won't be next week, but maybe the week after, um, after the rollout has become more broad. Let us know in comments how you're doing with faster trucks, if you have them or if you like them. And coming for our third event next month, as far as we know, if they don't surprise us, is going to be the county fair later in the month. 
sometime between the third or fourth week is what we were told. So what you do with these, you collect these uh, flower currency. And the most important thing about the county fair events is, first of all, they're not as hard. They don't top your machines. So just be really well stocked for these events and you should do okay. And you'll collect these and you'll want to play every day because you need to get your daily rewards every day. You know why? Because if you don't get your daily rewards every day, what you're going to miss out on is the final prize. This, the County Fair Deco. So you are We'll need this deco for what we're going to talk about next. So make sure you pop on every day and get your get your minimum here, uh, at least up to where the little gold question mark goal is, you know, at least get that far so you can get it off. So you ask, why do we need that flower currency? Well, this is why, because we've got a catalog coming again, and we're going to be using those flower currency to buy the different things in this catalog. But there is a difference. This time, the catalog is going to change daily. Yes, as you can see up here, it is going to change daily. So keep an eye on that time to make sure you know how much time you got left each day because you don't want to miss out on what's coming next. You guessed it. We got more sticker book collections coming. We got three more coming next month. So as you know, it is important to make sure that you get the things that are showing in your book so you can get the whole thing and get the grand prize. Now you may have already seen this one in your game, but there's something missing. It doesn't tell us what we're going to get if we complete the collection and it's also not telling us how we're going to get them so i took a close look here and i figured out these right here as you can see the pig collecting mushrooms should come from the winter road event the farm pass is going to give us the woodcutter we're going to get that little uh boat carving from the global truck event winter event is also going to give us the sleeping fox and the farm pass is giving us the fox statue with a cute little squirrel. Now, my prediction is the rest of those you see on there are probably going to be in-game offers that will cost diamonds or real money. Now, let's take a look at the Thanksgiving feast. That's the next one coming. So we got the winter deco in our game now without the information. Thanksgiving feast is coming. Do you see anything looking familiar here? Yes. If you don't do your county fair event and don't get that tent, then you will not be able to fill your sticker book collection. So all of these are tied in. You're going to see several decos on different pages, different collections. So take advantage of these events that are giving you the free decos um, as much as you possibly can and just you know, you want to check your book and, and make sure that you're going to make it and you can finish your collections. Now, let's take a look at some of these decorations that I already have. As you can see, they've become an animated more and more lately these days. And that Thanksgiving table, oh gosh, I just want to sit down and eat at that. And you can see the couple of other there's around the tree. And I wanted to put some bushes and trees there so you could get a size comparison. And look at those birds on the birdhouse. Hmm, I wonder how we get those. These are my favorites. Well, we're no, I know we're getting the snow tubing from the farm pass on the paid road. But take a look at this horse and carriage. Oh, I grew up riding horses. And I love anything with horse-drawn carriages. And look at this Stephen King It <laughs> sailboat sitting with the yellow raincoats. Oh, yes, I love that as well. You know it's going to be animated and beautiful. Remember when I talked about the free deco? Well, here it is. This is how you get your birdhouses. They are free, guys. Yes, all you got to do is go to Heyday's YouTube and watch their video 
and you can scan this with your phone or device. You'll need two devices to do that. Or you can click the link in the description of their video to get this free deco. And you can get it for each farm. So the way I did it is I log into Heyday, I go out of that and then I scan and I get the deco for that farm. Then I go back into Heyday and I switch to the other farm and then I go back and I scan. And that way I get one of these fabulous bird houses for every farm that I have. So hey farmers, I'm so glad you're here. We got to talk about the dairy news together. And if you like this video or you learned something new, give me a thumbs up so others can enjoy it too. And don't forget to set your notification bell to all so you know when I have new videos coming out weekly and my live streams are starting on Saturdays at 11. Thanks for watching. Y'all come back now. Peace.